Hi guys, before we begin this tutorial where we, will make, where we will make a British pipe, I've noticed that my screen capture tool did not work properly, so I will just show you a few things that you need to keep in mind. So for example, if you press Shift A, it gives you this option here, and we can select, let's say, a cube. You press G to grab it, and you can move it where you want. And you can press S to scale it, and you can scale it as large as you want. You can press Tab to go into edit mode, Tab to go into object mode. If you're in edit mode, you can press 1, 2, and 3, which will change from vertex select, edge select, and face select. Difference between a vertex select, you get individual vertex. Face, you get a face. I mean, edge, you get an edge, and then face, you get a full face. Uh, predominantly, for the most of the majority of this tutorial, we're working in edge select. That's two. And um, to, for example, select an edge, you can do that, or you can hold in Alt and then click, and you select except for the actual edges here. Let me just press Control R over here to create a loop cut and click once. Now, if you, if you just click on this edge, it will select one edge. If you Alt select, it will select all the edges around you. And then you can press S to scale it, R to rotate it, G to grab it and move it where you want. So, and that's pretty much all you need to know. Um, to follow along in this tutorial. I hope this helps and I hope you have lots of fun. Let's get blending. Thank you and welcome back to Blender CG After Dark. We are going to make a British pipe. So the first thing you want to do is press a numpad one. If you don't have numpad one on your keyboard, below the escape button on the top left hand side, there's a squiggly line. You press that and then you press front and that will give you the front orthographic view. We can delete this cube by selecting it and pressing X to delete it. And then we're going to press Shift A while we're in object mode. Shift A, and we'll click Image, and we're going to choose Reference Image. And the reference image we're going to use, you'll find it in the link down below in the description, but it's going to be this British pipe. All right. And before we begin, let's just select the this British pipe and the, the this over here, the object data properties. Make sure that it's transparent. We make it 0.5. We're going to send it to the back and then we're going to press G to move it, to grab it, and Z on the Z axis and just make sure it's above the red line. Now that we've done that, we're going to select this filter icon on the top here and click on this arrow that means selectable. And then we're going to make sure that our reference image is no longer selectable so we can't move it by accident. Right, the next thing we want to do is we're going to press Shift A and we're going to select Mesh Plane. Now we've got a plane over here. We're going to press Tab. And then we're going to press, we make sure we over here, we can either click over here to go to vertex select or we can press one, not numpad one, but one. One, two, and three changes these over here. So press one to be in vertex select and then right click and then you're going to select merge vertices at center. Now you've only got one vertex there. Now you can press G to grab it and we're going to move it to the top of this pipe over here, just like that. And while we're still in edit mode, we're going to press E to extrude it. So we extrude it down here, extrude again, extrude again, extrude again, and finally extrude again. Now we've got our basic line out of our pipe. So now we have to go to our modifiers. We can press tab. Um, that's our outline, so we can see how it looks. It looks more or less correct. Click on our modifier properties, add a modifier, and we're going to add the skin modifier. If you've ever used this modifier, you'll know the one problem with the skin modifier is that it makes everything square. And the way we fix that is by adding a, another modifier, which is the subdivision surface modifier, and we just put it on two, and that should be enough. Also, on the skin modifier, we need to make sure that the shading is on smooth. We can minimize the subdivision surface modifier but we'll need to while we're in object mode apply the skin modifier so we can make changes now that we've applied it we've got this weird shape here but now we have to shape it into the form of the pipe first thing I like to do is press tab to go into edit mode and make sure I've got solid viewport shading selected as well as x-ray so I can see through it and one thing you need to keep in mind is that the ends if you press Alt and select the ends, it doesn't select all the sides. Everywhere else, it will select all the corners. But the, t the two ends, it doesn't. So what you can do there is you can either try and select them all individually, or you can press your face select 
and you just click there and it's just one click and you'll still get it. Now press numpad 1 to make sure that it says front orthographic view. Zoom in and we're just going to scale this out and just try and map it out. We'll go over this a few times and this is this is just a bit of a, a bit of a laborious process. Make sure that we, do, we are pre predominantly in the edge select mode which is 2 and alt and select this edge here because that selects alt selects all the edges around there make sure you're in front orthographic view and just scale it out and we're just trying to get the basic shape initially you can press G to move and we will be fixing this up but for now we just need to get the basic shape also when I just rotate this a bit so that the rotation somewhat matches so it's easier to to get the shape there we go and what I'll do over here just so that there's some space this this process does take a little while so just keep on moving things in shape and you will slowly but surely get there I'm just moving these things along here just so that they're out the way so I can select this one here and just get a better shape over here and based on where I'm putting it determines the angle I'm likely to use that should be that should be let me select this one here like I said this process just takes a little bit of time it's not much one can do but one's best There we go, we're slowly getting the shape. And obviously this top part here will not select itself properly, so we always have to keep that in mind. One thing we can do is we can press Control R, create a new line, bring it all the way up. And now we've got a flat top which is extremely useful. Press numpad one, and we can select all the top like that, and then we can move it around. looking at this let's try and normally you have the pipe facing a little bit outward but you can design it any way you like I will leave it like that for now now we've got this sharp corner over here so we're just going to bring this out to about there and we're going to scale it out some more and we'll do the same over here we'll leave that for now let's just get all these parts of here out the way looks more or less correct one thing I'd like to try and do a little bit better there we go that looks like it matches a bit nicer and then we'll do the rest over here with this well, this one over here we can press GG bring it all the way in like that then press S to scale it down and then because we still got edge select we can right click and we're going to have an edge crease of plus one and then we'll select this rotate it to the most logical angle then scale it out because these edges are so close it's hard to tell how accurate I am at this stage that's why I like to move them just a little bit out of the way
Here we go. We just keep on doing this. that nice and flat make another cut about there and another cut about there and then just scale this cut back and then right click edge crease make that one there we go then press three. I there. Here we go, nice and neat. Do the same over here. I one E Control R Control R and let's see how it looks. That does look good. Shade speed. Next thing we want to do.
tab. If you'd like me to show you how to uh, use your shader editor to paint this pipe um, so that uh, the different parts are painted differently and it looks uh, very close to photorealistic, uh, please comment below. Um, that, that will be a, an entirely different tutorial that will take probably about 15, 20 minutes to do. And if you're interested, you've got to please leave a comment or else I'm not going to do it. Uh, one other thing you can do, just to make this a bit smoother, if you don't like how blocky it looks, you can go to your modifiers and you can just increase the level of here and you can smooth it out that way and find a level that you like. And when you're happy, you A for way. And obviously you can play around with this, make it smoother. I'm not particularly happy with how sharp that this part is of here. But uh, yeah, just play around with it and see what you can make. Cheers, man. Bye.